Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today I'm going to show you how you can make two potentiometers and an Arduino card into your Boeing 737 yoke. Captain Bob, Captain Bob, he's my best friend and he should be yours too. From our last video we made this yoke and we also made our little circle insert. I just drilled it with a one half inch drill bit and stuff to the potentiometer in there. Right now it looks like this. So you have your potentiometer right here and you just need to attach it here. I'm going to drill a hole right here and then glue it in. Now you can glue the cap in right here. Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want it to fall off otherwise the front half of your yoke will fall off and that would not be very friendly. Of course, by permanent solution, I obviously mean put hot glue in it and fix it later. For a more permanent solution, you could like screw it in there, uh, come up with a 3D printed mount, or you could use 24 hour epoxy. But that's a lot of hours, so I'm just going to stick with this for now. So you have your potentiometer on the elbow, and so you're just going to put it in here. This is now connected to the potentiometer, so you can configure it later. So we are going to set the return to center. On the 90 degree bracket, you're going to want to drill a 1 8 inch hole right here on the bottom of the potentiometer, and that is so that you can have these together, and it also acts as part of the return to center. I just tied two rubber bands onto this screw with a washer and that works because it keeps it from being mean basically and then that'll go right here and it'll and then these will go right here and it'll be perfect hopefully that just goes right here but it doesn't do anything until you stake it down so we are going to use some screws right here. Now you have a return to center. It's not perfect yet. I have to perfect that over time. But basically you have your return to center and you can't see from the front or the top so that's good. Now that the roll axis works, let's figure out the pitch axis. Since this is just a door hinge, you can put it on a wooden floor. Hopefully the one on your simulator, not the one in your kitchen. Whenever I'm dealing with door hinges, I like to use this fancy hinge bit that has a little press action so you always get it in the center. It costed me like four dollars, but it's worth it. And now let's screw them in. Now you have your pitch axis, but it's not very impressive when it doesn't stay in the center. So, now we are going to add springs. So, right here is 8 inches from the top one to the bottom, and right here is 5 inches from here to the bottom. This is 5 inches from here to here, and this is 6 inches from here to here. I'm using these screws with a little washer on them because then the spring won't jump out. Then you do the same with the other side. Stop! Oh dearie! So I just added the second set of springs and it really seems to help make it return to center. Right here we have more than enough pitch. We only really need 18 degrees so that's about here. Or so we'll measure it later. Of course right now this yoke isn't really as quality as some of the ones you can get online for like $4,000 because this is $25. Uh, so
so it's not going to be perfect. Yours will probably require a lot of tinkering and tweaking. So yeah, here we have it with our springs. Nice. Now let's wire it up. So right here is my Lego mock-up. And basically right here you put the potentiometer and then it rotates with the yoke. Of course, the model in 3D print will be a lot better and hopefully it'll actually fit the potentiometer and it'll go not break like that. Yeah, so that is how I'll make it a lot better and I'll show you an update when I get my 3D printer. I've linked below a set of Tinkercad plans that you can get for the 737 yoke. They go together with half fourth inch screws and you can use one smaller than that if you want more play but they work overall pretty great. Uh, I, haven't, I can't say anything about them as I've never 3D printed anything because I don't have a 3D printer, but I imagine some of you do, and this would be helpful. How to hook this up to the uh, to the uh, patam patamba? Uh -uh. I think it would be a lot more productive just to show you AM Studios video on how to make a five axes controller from an Arduino card and five potentiometers. So I'm going to link that right there, and I also made a Tinkercad sketch that is just like he did it and it's really good it's it makes it a lot less confusing than looking at wires because wires are weird if you'd like to see more there is the original 737 yoke video you should watch that and then a video that youtube thinks you should watch and i do too